Good morning. My name is Julia Coleman. I represent Senate District 48, which is the eastern half of Carver County. I'm also the Republican lead on the Senate Education Policy Committee. We are two months into the legislative session and to date we have had no significant hearings or conversations regarding the science of reading, regarding the catastrophic state of reading comprehension and literacy in the state. We Republicans have been patient, but time is up. It is time to act now and treat this like the disaster it is in this state. So I'm going to talk a little bit more about our plan. The surplus provides us with a unique opportunity to reset our priorities and fix our approach to literacy with real investments in the science of reading, which are then real investments in our schools and in our students. This establishes a special revenue fund, not unlike a disaster relief fund, from which schools can apply to cover costs related to aligning their curriculum and instructional practices to the science of reading. It include, the reset fund includes three primary components. Funding for schools to invest in proven science of reading curriculum, instruction materials and books, Funding for teacher training and professional development in the science of reading. Teachers will have opportunities to be trained in the science of reading with intensive workshops and academies along with real professional development. And lastly, funding for tutoring. In one of the very first education hearings I had as a freshman senator, we had mothers from the inner city saying, I can't afford a tutor and the schools are failing my students. Help me. This is going to answer that call for help. Parents of students identified as struggling readers will receive help for targeted tutoring based on the science of reading. The total size of the fund is still being calculated, but the funds to be set aside for targeted tutoring and for all of these goals needs to be and will be significant.